We're back for another adventure in Friesland. This time we're in the city of Harlingen where history meets the contemporary. Oh, and we're sleeping there tonight. Today we'll be exploring both sides of this cozy city from the ancient history to one of its many deliciously modern restaurants. And finally, we'll wrap up our day by sleeping in a converted crane home perched high above one of the most stunning seas in all of Europe. Goedemorgen from a very windy and kind of rainy Harlingen. Yeah. This is day four of our Friesland adventure, and honestly, we are kind of excited yeah. and exhausted. As I mentioned, today we're in Harlingen, which has been our home for the last three days. This is the fourth video in our Friesland series. If you're just now jumping in, we recommend starting with the Leivarden video, then Terskelling, and finally our Vodlopen adventure. Today's video is going to be really exciting because we're going to be showing you our stay in this Airbnb, yeah. which is a very nice Airbnb. We'll drop but, the camera. No, oh God. <laughs> It's very windy. But first, we're gonna go get some coffee. So I'll see you there. Hello. We are at Altier Swope, which is a cute little coffee shop and home goods store. And also, we got some tart. They have lots of different cakes and breakfast treats too. As Alex mentioned, we did the wad we we wadloped. <laughs> we wadloped yesterday. And we're still recovering from it. It was a very long day, but just like reflecting back on it, it was so cool. And we it definitely was, want to do it again. Yeah, we definitely want to do it again. We were talking to the guide when we were sailing back about the different, like a few other experiences that you can have. And there's one where you can actually walk from one island to another and it takes about four hours. And then you can like stay overnight on the island that you arrive at. Anyway, we're going to enjoy our coffee and cake. And then we're going to get a proper breakfast slash lunch after this. We'll see you in a minute. We went to Hominjas Feine Winkelche. Hopefully I said that right. Because we wanted to get some delicious sandwiches. And it's a deli and like a Kass Winkel. They have a whole bunch of cheese, local cheese, and cured meats. We just wanted to taste a little sandwich. And they had a mortadella sandwich on their menu. And we love mortadella. Ooh, baby. So we figured, when given the opportunity to eat somewhere that has some luxurious meats, maybe we should get that. They also had a filet American sandwich, which was actually what we planned on getting beforehand. But funny story, everything here is in German. I think everyone just assumes we're German because we look like tourists because we're carrying this giant camera around. It's just kind of an interesting thing because when we were in Zeeland, we heard there were a lot of German tourists, but we just really didn't experience that like we have here. Enough talking, let's get in the sandwich. There's pesto in there, mortadella, cucumber, fresh tomato, iceberg lettuce, pesto, and this bread is very like soft but crispy on the outside. This is pretty good. By the way, if you're watching this and thinking, isn't there like a famous Frisian cheese that they need to try? The answer is, I think so. It's been in our breakfast every morning at the Airbnb. So stick around till later in the video if you want to see us try that. But I will say, at the coffee shop that we were just at, we mentioned that we were going to be trying that to the, the proprietor, and she said she had never heard of it before. So, take that what you will. It was a it was a cafe, not a coffee shop. Oh, sorry, not like that coffee shop. <laughs> yeah. We got some Salker Brot for home and a little Frisian treat, which we'll show you later. Beginning our tour of the city sites today, hey Ma. Just kidding, Stadt House. This city hall was built in the Louis XIV style, which is why it looks different than a lot of the city halls that we've shown you before. It was built in 1730, which is pretty recent. We are at St. Michael Kirk, which is, again, one of the more recent churches that we've seen. It was built in 1881. It suffered a lot of damage in World War II and was restored right after, and then more recently restored in 1991.
There's our ship from yesterday. Oh, that's out of focus. There's our ship from yesterday. I guess it's not going else today. Looking good though. Constructed in 1922, and it was deactivated in 1998, and now it's a hotel. Maybe How many rooms are in it? I don't know. I think it's just one. Oh. She got a puppy tail. She's got a GPS tracker. Oh, really? our motel. Harlingen used to be a whaling town and the practice is no longer permitted and the town's installed this monument to call attention to the conservation efforts. Now let's head back to our place and try our little treat. This is Oranyakuk and this was this was a very like puzzling treat for me to find. So I was under the impression that I was looking for something orange. Mm -hmm and that it was actually going to be orange flavored and none of those things are true and that it may have an orange on it yes and that it may have an orange on it no it does not necessarily have an orange on it so this was originally a frisian wedding delicacy um, but now you can find it in most bakeries and it's basically a spice cake with a little bit of whipped cream and candied fruit on top oh, it definitely smells spicy that's like way bigger than the rest Getting a strong almond, mm -hmm. like amaretto mm -hmm. flavor. There's a spice in here that I'm not super familiar with. It's pretty soft, but it's got like a layer of something in the middle. No orange. No orange, yeah. No orange. None. None. It would be even better as a candle. It's a little bit aromatic. Mm -hmm. I know mm -hmm. it's, it's a strange description for the taste, but there's something about it that's a little bit oh, yeah. perfumey. You're right. Like... It is the almond and something else. In yeah. There. Is it anise? Like the star anise? It like could the be. The licorice -y kind of flavor? Because mm -hmm. that's what fennel is like. Yeah, yeah it could be. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. Oh, hello. Hey. We're on our way to dinner and a little behind the scenes. I actually just worked for four hours <laughs> and everyone, my Zoom background was the harbor and everyone was like, oh my God, that's gorgeous. Where are you? And I got to tell everyone about Harlingen and Wadlopen. Yeah, and there are a couple of ships that like parallel park behind yeah. you and they were <laughs> so like, What the hell is that? Like, are you okay? <laughs> we found out that there's a city in Texas named Harlingen. Well, we knew that. Yeah, we knew that. We knew that. But when we Googled it, we actually found that Harlingen, Texas was named after Harlingen here in the what? Netherlands. The founder, I guess, knew people from Harlingen. I read reports that apparently they were from Harlingen, but I don't think that's true. Yeah. That's so cool. Though. That's pretty cool. There's a city in Texas named after Texas. this city. Texas. Huh. Texas. Texas. All right, dinner time. For dinner, we've come to Grand Cafe de Rouse. And this place originally caught my eye because there's something special on the menu called Kentucky Fried Cauliflower. And that's up my aisle. But when we got here- My aisle? My aisle? What is what is the saying? That's my up my alley. alley. My aisle. Anyway, <laughs> they also have Zeus Amoselin, which is what I got. And I'm actually extremely excited to try this tonight. Yes, because as you know, when we went to Zeeland, we were like a week and a half too early. It's muscle time. Zeeland. 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 It's been a long day. <laughs> Please excuse me. This is quite good. It's very crunchy. I wouldn't say it's like the original recipe spices, but the spice blend on it is really delicious. Oh. 
Yum. They're super buttery. They were steamed in a broth of white wine, butter, and veggies. It comes with garlic and cocktail sauce, but these mussels definitely didn't need it. Welcome to our Harlingen Crane Home. Let's show you around. The whole crane home is this one floor at the top with a seating area and a little workspace over here. When we first arrived here, there was a nice little setup with some kava and some treats and everything. It was very nice to come home to. Over here is the bed. It's really soft and bouncy. <laughs> it also came with robes and they refresh the robes every single night. And slippies. And slippies. Next up is the snack area. Oh, there's also air conditioning. So a couple of these things we brought but they have tons of coffee, tons of snacks over here, and the mini bar. It all gets refilled every single day, and it's all free. Sometimes brand new snacks just show up when the cleaner comes. So these are two new snacks. Oh, and there's cleaning every yeah. day. And did I mention there's cleaning every single day? So it's, it's like a hotel where you leave, you come back, everything's refreshed. It's wonderful. Michelle's been eating a lot of these. These are my new Joy favorite. Joyvis coral noches. Yeah, since we did the like Dutch snack, grocery store snack video, these are delicious. The bathroom area. It's all kind of one big room. Yeah, it's kind of weird to be like, next, we're in the same room. Anyway, bathroom area. So two double sinks. Two double sinks? That's four sinks. Four sinks. A double sink with a magnifying mirror. Here is the shower with a rainfall shower. And our water shoes from Wadlopen. Our Wadlopen shoes. And there's a separate room for the toilet right here. No frills. Yeah, no frills. Also, not a ton of privacy. Yep. Make sure you know the person you're staying in here with really well because it's one big room and not all the rooms are... Yeah. Actually, no, it's just, it's just one big room. Also, this frost. Oh, yeah. This frosted area. Go back really there. Only comes up to a certain... Oh, I guess it, it... I mean, anyone taller than you would probably be a little bit more exposed, but, I mean, you're really not getting much privacy there. All right, take off your clothes and let's get the real test. Can you see? <laughs> Wait, can you actually see? No. <laughs> And next, I'm going to show you our two favorite things about this place. The jacuzzi. This thing is massive. Mm. Look at this. This has been incredible to come home to every night because we've had a lot of long days here. You just sit back in the jacuzzi. It's been great. Let's share a little bit of history about this crane home. They believe that it was built around 1900. They're not 100% sure, but before the crane home was moved here, it was actually servicing the port of Rotterdam, which is Oh, kind of has it been here since 1900? No. Oh, they moved no, it they here moved to it be here. the Airbnb. Mm -hmm. no, yeah. no, 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 no. They did not move it here to be the Airbnb. Originally when it was built, it was a crane servicing the port of Rotterdam. And when it was done in the port of Rotterdam, they moved it here to actually serve as a rail crane. So there used to be, there's rail tracks out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there used to be a funnel below it so they would fill up the train cars with coal or whatever it was. Isn't cool. that fun? That is cool. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> and finally, the view. This is amazing. We saw a rainbow out here this morning, which was really incredible. And it's just been fun to lay in bed and watch all of the ships go by and like arrive in the evenings. It's been beautiful. Hello. Hello. The hot tub's very nice. Or jacuzzi. It's not really technically a hot tub. It's a jacuzzi. It's like a bathtub with jets. Yeah. This place has honestly been pretty great. I think people probably normally only get it for one night, mm -hmm. but we have it for three because we needed to be here for three nights. For three nights, <laughs> it's just it's it's pretty flawless. The details, a lot of details, are great, and the view is amazing. Also, yeah. a good location too. It's a very good location. Speaking of the attention to detail, there is actually one last thing that we want to show you with this place that's pretty amazing. But to do that, you'll have to wait until tomorrow morning. You want to do it?
Good morning. Good morning. Every morning here we get a breakfast. Look at this. And it's delivered by a baker. It's been great. It's actually been really great. We've actually tried this cheese before. The cost, the counter cost. Counter cost. This is a cheese that's got cumin mm -hmm. and coriander in it. Um, I'm no sure. cloves. Cumin and cloves. Yeah, yeah. It tastes like Indian food. Mhm. Mm yeah. It's an intense taste for the for a morning breakfast. For a morning cheese. Morning cheese needs to be mild. That's right. In my opinion. This wraps up our four-part Friesland series. What did you think of Harlingen? Harlingen was awesome. Yeah, I, I do feel like a lot of people just stop here to take the ferry or to 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 go on like a Wadlopen adventure. But I really do recommend if you come here, you should at least stay overnight and explore the city. Everyone was really friendly. Maybe here. Yeah, there's lots of good food, That's great right. views. If you missed any of our videos in our Friesland series, please go back and give them a watch because this has been a very fun trip and I think these videos are going to turn out really nicely. Yeah, I hope so. As always, thank you so much for watching. And we'll we hope you enjoyed the Friesland series. We'll see you on the next one. Do we? Doeg.